Hi and welcome. In this video, you will be learning about what is the difference between a single equal operator and a double equal operators in C++. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and let's get started. Is this single equal sign the same with the double equal sign? The single equal sign is an assignment operator where it is being used. Some of the examples are when you want to assign a literal value to a variable or if you want to assign a value from another variable into another variable. This operation will copy the value in the right operand to the left operand. The double equal sign, on the other hand, is an equal operator, where it is being used. It is used when you want to test whether the value inside another variable is the same as the value in another variable. In this example, we want to test whether x is equal to y. If the value in x is 8 and the value in y is also 8, then the whole expression in here will be evaluated as true. Let's have a look at another example. If the value in x is 8 and the value in y is 4, then the whole expression here it will be evaluated as false. What if we used an assignment operator? Now be careful that this will not cause a compilation error. In fact, it will cause a logic error to happen in your program. Let's say x has the value of 8 and y has the value of 4. What this does is that it is going to assign the value of 4 to x. So what is happening here? Since the expression is assigning y into x, the result will be evaluated to just x. And from the previous slide, we know that the value of y, which is 4, is assigned to x. So now, the expression will be evaluated to if 4, and 4 will be evaluated as true. Why is value 4 evaluated as true? In the if statement condition, the non-zero value will always be evaluated as true whereas a zero value will be evaluated as false. Let's have a look at example code. As you can see in this example, x has the initial value of 8, and y has the initial value of 8. Now, here I'm testing whether x is equal to y. If it is true, the program will display equal. If it is false, the program will display not equal. I also display the values of x and y right after that. And this is the output of the program. Since x and y contains the same value, the if statement evaluated to true and produced the output of equal. As you can see, the values of x and y being output to the screen are the same. Now I slightly change the program so that the value of y is now 4 and I use the same equal operator in the if condition. Since the values of x and y are not equal, the if condition is evaluated to false and the output displays not equal. The values of x and y being displayed are 8 and 4 respectively. Now I modified the program so that the equal operator is changed to an assignment operator. In my Xcode IDE, it shows a long warning message. But this is just a warning, and you can still run the program. The output displays equal even though x and y are initially not equal. As you can see, the value of x has now been changed to 4 as the result of this operation. The output shows equal not because of x and y and now are equal, 
but because the condition in if statement has been evaluated to 4, which results as true. Remember that all non-zero values are evaluated as true. Let's look at another example. Now I slightly modify the previous program so that y is equal to negative 4 and still maintain the assignment statement in the if condition. The output shows equal. That is because the condition in the if statement has now become negative 4 which is again a non-zero value that result in true. And again here, x is now changed to negative 4. And for the final example, I modified the y value to 0 with the same assignment statement and the output shows not equal, which means the condition in the if statement has been evaluated to 0, which results in false condition. And again, x has been changed to 0 because of the assignment statement in the if condition. So the conclusion is make sure you use the proper equal operator, the one with the double equal sign in if statement to avoid running into logic error in your program. Logic error can cause unwanted result and behavior during your program execution. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, give this video a like. If you have any comment or suggestion, write it down in the comment section. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified if we upload new videos. Also, follow our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page written down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.